Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Hi guys and welcome to another Fool of the Week. Sorry this went out on Monday, I had planned to drop it at the end of the week, but here we are. This week's Fool is Rachel Johnson, Boris Johnson's sister. Now we're all free to have an opinion on what's happening in Ukraine. We're free to predict the outcome of the war. Will Putin win? Will Ukraine win? What will happen to Ukraine? What will happen to the Russian Federation? But when it comes to all of this, most of this is just predictions, not advice. Well, Rachel doesn't think like that. I think it's fine and fair enough. Obviously, fair is, is a silly way of putting it. Nothing is fair in this war. If Putin claims and retains Donetsk and Luhansk, the Donbass, and allows Ukraine to get on with its life, I could live with that. But I, I could live with that. Oh, then that's fine, because Rachel Johnson can live with that. Rachel Johnson can live with Ukraine split up. I can imagine, you know, the president of Ukraine, Zelensky, when he, he, he gets, you know, he calls out an aide. He says, get me Johnson on the phone. And they say, Johnson, Boris Johnson. No, 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 Rachel Johnson. I want to hear her opinion on how we should move forward. But I don't think Ukraine will. That's where I think we're going to have enormous problems and it is going to be a long and frozen war unless of course Turkey can broker some sort of agreement along those lines which is the only way I see this this dividing up Putin's not going to uh, take his tanks out of Ukraine with and lose face without having something to show for it to the Russian people, to the Russian mothers who've lost tens of thousands of their sons in this pointless and criminal war. That's my position. What do you think? Do you think that Ukraine will have to divide up East and West, a Ukrainian West, a Russian East? Oh, three, four, five. The arrogance of these people suggesting that this is what should happen. I'd be happy with that. I, I could live with that. I could live with Ukraine being split up. Now, President Zelensky has responded, not directly, <laughs> to Rachel Johnson here, but he's responded to this idea that Ukraine could be split up. And he said, no, we're not going to allow that to happen. And we're not going to allow others from outside to dictate how our country, uh, our sovereignty. That's already been dictated. Russia has infringed on our sovereignty. We're not going to allow other countries to decide what uh, what we give up or what we don't give up. The arrogance of this. But then Rachel Johnson is a Johnson, just like her brother. And it's the arrogance of this family. She's not an expert. She's not a diplomat. She's, she doesn't have any military experience. But she's willing to give her two cents. And as I said at the beginning, two cents is okay, but not advice. I could live with that. Once again, uh, why are these? Why is this family broadcasting in, um, on on the radio here or on TV? Um, Boris Johnson was elected. Rachel Johnson was not, but for some reason, she's given a voice on LBC. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think, and I'll see you next time for our next Fool of the Week.